Now, let's get back to Labor learning some lessons. As you know, for a number of years and right up till the election day, the ALP under Bill Shorten was promising a raft of measures to increase taxes, from income tax to franking credits, from negative gearing to family trusts. Labor was looking to raise an extra $387 billion over 10 years. This was the old-fashioned politics of redistribution, with Labor saying it was taking from the rich, the so-called top end of town, and spending the money on benefits for people on lower incomes. Now, all along I said, and others agreed, that this was a flawed plan. The trouble is that too many mainstream Australians would get caught out. Self-funded retirees and families trying to get ahead by investing in properties. And there might also be a drag on the economy. I argued all along that mainstream voters would not like this, that people in the suburbs and the regions, the people who decide elections, are aspirational. Australians want to get ahead and they don't need governments to try and make it harder for them. Aspiration is the key word. And it was the politics of aspiration that Bob Hawke and Paul Keating understood when they led strong Labor governments that unashamedly supported families in the suburbs and the regions getting ahead. Now, people like me weren't making this up or pointing it out to try and hurt Labor. We were saying this because it's what the history of this country and other democracies demonstrates. This is what works, economically and politically. Voters are aspirational and they elect governments that support their hard work and thrift. Well, guess what? After voters again showed all this to be true when they rejected Labor's higher taxes and redistribution, well, now the Labor Party has suddenly rediscovered the language of Hawke, Keating and, for that matter, Howard and Costello. Here's Labor's new shadow treasurer, Jim Chalmers. We need economic policy which is forward-looking and outward-facing and upward-climbing. And we need Labor to reclaim our rightful place as the party of aspiration and the outer suburbs as well. The party of aspiration. Yes, that is the right approach, the logical approach. That is some turnaround from Chalmers, who, until 16 days ago, was a key salesman for Labor's old high-taxing and high-spending approach. It is a good sign, though... There's a long way to go, but indications are that Labor has already woken up to its fundamental economic and political failing.